Hello there, guys, and welcome to episode 3 of the Guide to Amazing Explain 11 Scenery. This is going to be a full tutorial on how to create overlays using the HD Mesh Scenery for Ortho4XP. Coupled together, Ortho4XP and the HD Mesh Scenery overlays create for an unmatched visual experience in Xplane 11. As a refresher, I'm going to be taking you through the installation process of Ortho4XP in this video, as well as how to create your first tile with overlays from the HD Mesh Scenery. It is extremely imperative that you are aware of the process of how to create HD Mesh Scenery tiles for Xplane 11 in order to fully grasp the concepts presented in this video. If you haven't watched my video on how to create HD Mesh Scenery for Xplane 11, the link is provided to you in the description section. Ortho for XP is a Python based script and requires the Python for Windows runtime to run properly. In order to do this, we're going to head over to www.python.org and we're going to download the latest version of Python 3.6.4. Once you've downloaded the file, run the executable and you're good to go. The second step would be to download Ortho for XP itself. To do this, click on the link provided to you in the description section of the video. Once you reach this Dropbox page, click on the download link here and select Direct Download. Once the download is complete, right-click on the ortho4xp.zip file and select the option Extract to ortho4xp. Once that step is done, you are free to move the ortho4xp folder to any location on your PC. The ortho4xp executable is located in the bin folder of the created ortho4xp folder. To run it, we navigate to ortho4xp, bin, and double click on the executable file here. Let's go ahead and verify our installation. As you can see, we have ortho4xp version 1.20b now running. There are a couple of steps that we need to do before we create our first ortho4xp tile. Number one, we need to move the HD Global Scenery folder from our Xplane 11 custom scenery folder to any location of your choosing. Just make sure that you remember where you've placed this folder as we will need it once we launch the ortho for xp application. The second step is to create a folder that will host the generated file from the ortho for xp application. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to be using this already created folder, triple Z underscore Fresno. It is highly recommended that you create those folders outside of the Xplane 11 custom scenery folder and then move them once the tile generation is complete. We are now ready to create our first Ortho4XP tile. Suffice it to say that there are many features available through the config file in the Ortho4XP folder for advanced users. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to keep things short and simple. We navigate to Ortho4XP, bin, and double click on the Ortho4XP executable. We're not going to be covering all the features available through the application, but I'm going to show you the absolute minimum you need to create your first tile. The first thing we need to do is select the custom build directory, which is the ZZZ underscore Fresno folder that we've created earlier in the video. We're going to click on custom build and we're going to navigate to the folder, which is this one here, ZZZ underscore Fresno and select the folder. Next, the base source is going to be BI. The base zoom level will change that to 17. And there is a nice feature here, choose custom zoom level. What this allows you to do is to select different zoom levels within your tiles. So for example, let's say that you want the area immediately around the airport to be zoom level 18, and then all the rest of the tiles to be zoom level 17 or 16. That feature here gives you the ability to do that. I highly recommend that you select the C source and zoom level, uh, so we can select um, BI and zoom level 17 or 16. This will create nice shorelines. In our case, we're creating some tiles around the San Joaquin Valley, and therefore there, is, there are no um, uh, seashore lines there. So we're gonna leave this uh, blank. We're gonna move down to build tile, and we're gonna click on complex masks, 
and we're going to select 100 for the mask width. We are now pretty much ready. The only step remaining is to select the HD mesh scenery folder so that our overlays can be created from that folder and not from the explained global uh, scenery folder. So we're going to create a custom overlay directory. We're going to click here and we're going to go to scenery enhancements here. And this is the HD global scenery that used to be in our explain 11 custom scenery folder. As a reminder, this needs to be moved out of your custom uh, scenery folder. So we're going to double click that and make sure that you see earth map data here and then just say select folder. We are now pretty much ready to create the tile. So we're going to click on earth tile map. If you right click the mouse button, you'll be able to move the map and we're going to go down here to the United States, specifically in California. And as you can see, I have created already those tiles. So we're going to create this tile here. Once you select the tile that you want to create, we're going to come here and click on build masks and build overlays. This is very important. If you don't do this, you'll need to come back, select the tile and click build overlays later. So make sure that you tick on build masks and build overlays. And then we're going to click on batch build. Now you will notice that probably nothing is happening here because things are happening in the background. So we're going to minimize this screen as, as you can see now, things are happening here. Now it may take some time to obtain the OSM data. So please be patient. And once now, as you can see, we started building the mesh for the tile. You will know that your um, tile generation has completed once all of these three bars are at 100%. Also, one thing North noting is um, if you go to the Ortho4XP um, command window here, if there are any errors, you will be able to see them here. So right now it says we're extracting to temp and it says everything is okay. Folders is one, files 24, and this is size compressed. So you know that everything is working fine. And now you can see that we are um, getting the um, tiles built. As you can see here, the uh, masks are being built for the seawater ground mesh. And you can see also the progress bar moving here. We're going to wait now until the entire tile is completed and then we'll move to the next step. As you can see, ortho 4 xp has begun the tile creation process. We can see some DDS files. Now, depending on your internet speed, this may take a very long time to complete. Uh, this is the progress bar here. And once this is completed, then the tile creation is completed. There is another way that you can monitor the progress by taking a look at um, ortho 4 xp ortho photos. And this is the region that's being created right now. Um, if you click that, uh, you'll be able to see the photos that are being generated uh, for this particular tile. As you can see now that it's being updated. And you can actually cycle through these photos and take a look here. Some really nice photos um, of the um, Fresno area or the San Joaquin Valley area. The ortho 4 xp tile creation process has completed successfully. If this is the first time you're running ortho 4 xp you will notice now that there is a new folder created in the root called yortho 4 xp underscore overlays. This folder contains the overlay files that we need to move to explain 11 custom scenery folder. To do this, we are going to copy the Y ortho 4 xp overlays folder. We're going to copy and we're going to move it to explain 11 custom scenery and we're going to paste it here. We are now ready to move the newly created region folder to the explain 11 custom scenery folder. We're going to navigate to the location and this is our folder here and it should contain now the new tile information and files. We're going to copy this file, head over to the explain 11 custom scenery folder and paste the file here. As you can see, we have the Fresno folder uh, here. This is the folder that hosts the ortho 4 xp tile information and files. And we also have the ortho 4 xp overlays folder here. It is highly recommended that you keep this folder in the custom scenery folder 
and just keep overriding the folder contents as you create tiles. There is one more step that we need to do, which is the scenerypacks.ini. If you scroll now to the bottom of the file, you will notice that you have the entry Fresno here, and I have the overlay um, entry above it. Make sure that the overlays folders entry into the packs.ini always have a higher priority than your tile entries. Um, otherwise, uh, you will have no roads, buildings, and trees. So any created tile should come below the overlays folder. All right, let's go ahead now and fire up X-Plane and take a look at the results. All right, we are now flying over the Fresno area, and what I'd like to point your attention to is how perfectly the roads are placed on the photoreal mesh. And of course, this is thanks to the HD mesh scenery overlays uh, that provide for more accurate roads and elevation data, uh, trees. Uh, it really does provide for an unmatched uh, visual experience uh, when coupled with Orthophorex B. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I hope that this was an insightful and useful video. In episode 4 of this series, we are going to be taking a look at all the scenery enhancements that I use to make x 11 look amazing. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.